Hi, this is uh, Philip Dewberry from Addison Baptist Church, and we're not having uh, church this morning, and so I thought it would be good for us to um, just have a little video uh, lesson this morning. Uh, this is primarily for the children, but um, obviously it's for for anybody. This sort of puts me in mind of uh, two years ago when we were uh, taking an extended break due to uh, COVID. Um, it's not quite as serious this time, but we do uh, have some people that are uh, recovering from some illness and uh, we just wanted to give everybody a, a good chance to, to do that. So this morning I'm kind of going to just continue my uh, lesson uh, or my series that I was talking about um, started last week um, about the last days of Jesus and last time we talked about Jesus' betrayal and arrest and um, his trial before those chief priests and so um, so then um, after that, they take Jesus to uh, Pilate, who is the governor. And uh, I'm sure you're a little bit familiar with this story, but um, anyway, I'm going to read uh, just a few verses. This comes from Luke chapter uh, 23. Pilate then called together the chief priests and the rulers of the people and said to them, You brought this uh, me this man as one who is misleading the people. And after examining him before you, behold, I did not find this man guilty of any of your charges against him. Neither did Herod, for he sent him back to us. Look, nothing deserving of death has been done by him. I therefore, I will therefore punish and release him. But they all cried out together, Away with this man, and release to us Barabbas, a man who had been thrown into prison for an insurrection, started in the city, and for murder. Pilate addressed them once more, desiring to release.